Hello everyone, this is Zishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. Today I'm going to show you around what's new in Adobe Photoshop 2022 and we'll more focus on the new stuff that the Photoshop has brought with this new edition. So without further ado, let's move ahead and let's see our first new feature inside 2022 version. Now we have here, as you know, uh, object selection tool so object selection tool if you click on it you select the object selection tool and now you will see that there is a new option here that is object finder and you can notice there is a refreshing icon which is animating right now now with the object finder as soon you select the object selection tool you can simply select the findable objects the objects that Adobe Sensei can actually calculate anything that is selectable. So the machine learning Adobe Sensei feature actually allows you to select anything that you want and you just hover over it and it will turn blue. That means it is selectable. You can select it. Okay. And it will be selected just right away like this. If you want to select more, you can press shift key on your keyboard and select more objects. Okay. And this is how it will select. If you don't want to select anything, press alt on your keyboard and click on it. It will be deselected. So that's something really good that I liked about the new Adobe uh, object selection uh, and object finder uh, feature. Now, next that we have here is the new masking option so once you have your background here okay let's make a uh, new layer like duplicate this layer right click over here and i have here an option called mask all object so you can get it from a top like from uh, like click this menu okay so you have here in the layer mask all object and right click same thing so when you click on it the selectable object that I was able to select with the help of object selection and new feature that will automatically create all these uh, elements as masks. So you can see here all of them are converted into mask. So I can select any one of it. I can work on it. And the best thing I can do is that suppose I can select one of these go to my adjustment, apply any one of the adjustments layer on it. And if I will start adjusting it and you can see that it will be adjusting that mask. So it will be quite easier for you to now select multiple masks at the same time and apply adjustment layers on it and different other things. So you have a lot of possibilities what you want to do over here. The next feature which I really like is basically the harmonize, which is the part of neural filter. Okay, so how harmonize works actually. So let's see, we have this background and I will take this image from here. Okay. Copy this. Paste it here. Okay. And just move it a little bit upwards here so I can see the whole thing. Okay. And now I just want these people from this layer okay not all of them okay, cut them and delete this layer paste them here and next what i can do here is that same thing i can do what simple stuff the object finder uh like the new feature why i'm doing this because the uh, the harmonize effect that we are going to use applies on those element which are uh, PNG files without any like sort of a background and you are compositing them and it doesn't work on the masks. Okay. So it have to be a, a layer without a mask. So I will select all of them. Okay. Once they are selected, I can make a new layer. Okay. And then just add a white color to it. Okay. And there is something here which I can paint over just like this. And then I will make a new layer and then I can apply a black color to it to create it as a mask. Okay. 
Then select it all. Delete this layer. Don't need for this layer. I will create a mask to this layer. Alt, go inside, paste it. And here we go. Now, what I need to do is that this mask, I have to get rid of it so that I will have an image without any sort of a background. So I can right click on this mask and apply layer mask. That's all. Now I have to resize it and find a nice spot where they can stand without any sort of an issue. Okay. I think I have to resize them more. So I think it, it matches the horizon here more nicely because it have to match the horizon. So it looks like they are standing on the ground instead of flying. Okay, something like here. Okay, now you can see the color, it's not matching the color. Okay, so what I can do is that to match it color to composite, I can now go to the filters here and then I will go to the neural filters. And as soon it will load, I have here have harmonization. I will turn on the harmonization here. As soon as I will do that, it will ask me which layer you want it to more organize with. So I will go here and I want this layer number one. Okay. As soon as I will do that, it will do the processing. And then you can see that it is now applying the same sort of a color over it. I can increase the strength of it. Okay. I can add a bit of red to it as it is a, like a evening sort of a scene, a little bit yellow also. Okay. And then maybe less saturation. Okay. And a little bit less brightness. And keeping that mind uh, and keeping the background in mind, it will create the whole thing. And you can create the shadow and stuff and whatever you want to do. So this is how you can create, uh, you can add as a new layer, press OK, and it will add a new layer to it. So before and after before and after. So you can see this is how harmonization will help you to create a nice looking compositing. Next effect, which is also linked to neural filter, which is the filter related to Adobe Sensei, is the landscape mixer, which I really like. Suppose you have taken a picture of a landscape but you want it to look more snowy, like it is uh, instead of a dry mountain, it's more like a uh, covered with snow and it's a glacier sort of thing. So that we can do now. Or if you want it to be a lush green sort of a landscape. So now in the uh, filters, you can go to the neural filter and you will see there is a landscape mixer here. Now in the landscape mixer, if I will go turn it on, I can choose any one of these or you can have your own custom. So I can click on, the, on this glacier one. As soon as I will click it, it will do processing and convert this dry looking picture of this uh, landscape into a glacier or a snow covered mountains. And that's the beauty of it. So you can see how well it has done. Added some of the uh, like pixels over here, some of the images it have cloned it. Okay, so you can see before and after. See how clearly it had looked where it should have some ice, where it should have some covered uh, trees. So really good. Okay, I really like this one. And one more thing I liked about it, whatever you choose, it do a perfect good job. And one thing uh, I always look for is the lush green meadows sort of mountains. And now I can do that with any picture. And you can see that before and after. Okay. So this is one thing I really liked about this. And you can make a new layer, press OK. And there are a lot. You can make it look like it's a desert or you can make it lush greenish. Now, other feature that I have here is copying from Illustrator. Okay, so uh, let's hide these two. Okay, and go to the Illustrator here. I have this file from in the Illustrator, which is comprises of three layers. Okay, I'll select them all and go to edit, copy, go to Photoshop and edit 
and paste. And as soon as I will do that, it will ask me, uh, do you want to paste layers or smart object or pixels or path or shape layer? So you have new pasting options here. Simply, I want to use layers. If I will click on this information icon and the information will pop up and it says preserve illustration attribute layers, structure and relative positioning. And if I will press OK, and it will do the pasting. Okay. Uh, I will press continue over here. And you can see that there is different layers converted to it. Okay. So this is the layer number one. Okay. Layer number two and layer number three. The same as I have in the Photoshop. Oh, sorry, in the Illustrator. So this is... Uh, uh, new features that I really liked about the Adobe Photoshop 2022. And just let me know in the comment section below, which one is your favorite and what you are more looking into it and how it can help you. And if you have done any work that you want to share with me, just let me know in the comment section below. Thanks everyone for following my channel. Keep watching my channel. Support it, like my videos, and also subscribe to my channel and keep supporting. And we'll meet next time with some new uh, tutorials and lessons which are coming up. Thanks a lot, everyone, and take care.